Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can install and set up PySide 6. So PySide 6 will enable you to use Qt or Qt6 actually with Python. It will enable you to build some interesting graphical user interfaces or GUIs or desktop apps. So to install it, it's very simple. You need this one line here, pip install PySide 6. So I'm going to copy it. Then I will pull up a command prompt, so you can pull up any command prompt, and I will simply paste this statement. Then I'll press enter and wait for it to install. Now in my case, it says requirement already satisfied. This is simply because I already have it installed. But in your case, just wait a couple of minutes, it will get installed and then you should probably have it. All right, so now I actually have the PySide 6. Now, one thing I want to note here is now you are totally capable of writing and building your own interfaces simply using the PySide 6 library within your Python code. So this is very easy, very simple, and you can start doing it right now. However, as you start to build more and more complex applications, you will start to require something called a Qt designer. So the Qt designer is a software that the Qt framework provides. It has a drag and drop interface which allows you to create your applications manually using your mouse. So you can drag and drop buttons, labels. I'll show you how later on in this video. But basically, it makes your life very, very easy. And you have to design the GUIs just using your mouse manually, drag and drop, and you don't need to write the code for it. So this Qt Designer, of course, you actually need to install it as well. So to install it, what we're going to do is we have two different methods. One way is that you can go on the website, so you can go to Qt Downloads online, and then you can install Qt Designer manually from a website and you can run it. However, there's another way to do it here using pip as well. So what you would have to do is you would say pip install PyQt6 tools. So if they're different, why am I using PyQt6 tools? Well, in fact, because I'm using PyQt6 tools, I can actually download and install Qt Designer using pip. So if I press enter, and I'll show you how. All right, so again, I have requirement already satisfied. This is because I already have it on my machine. Now, in your case, this will take a bit and then it will install. All right, so I have PySide 6 and now I have PyQt6 tools. So what I'm going to need to do is I will need to open up my file explorer and navigate to my site packages folder. So this is where all your Python libraries exist. Then I'm going to find my Qt6 underscore applications folder. So this folder should have been installed from this line right here. So from pyqt6 dash tools. So now that I have it, you can see this is the contents of the folder. I'm going to enter Qt, then bin. And then you see there's a bunch of stuff right here. The only thing I'm interested in is this designer application. Do you see it has this green logo? So I'm going to just double click on it and try to open it. So this should open up the Qt Designer tool that I was telling you about. So there it is. So this is the Qt Designer interface. So this interface, like I said before, it enables me to create my interfaces using a drag and drop method. So this is how we installed it. We installed PySite 6 first, then we installed PyQt6 tools, and we were able to get it from our site packages folder. So let me actually launch it. Here you can maybe create a main window. So you're creating your first application. So this is what the main window looks like. So what you can do is you can drag and drop different things. So for example, this button, and you can also drag another button. You can drag maybe some labels. So you see here, this is a label and you can just type uh, hello and things like that. You can get some inputs as well. So you have here a section for input widgets so you can get a line edit. This is where your user would type things. So you can see I'm building my interface just by dragging and dropping. Now, traditionally, if you were going to do this using pure PySide 6, what you will have to do is you will write the code for it and manually code every single widget to create it in the screen. So again, this is much faster, especially as you start to build more and more complex applications, this becomes much easier. So this is one way to do it. Now, of course, I can go to form and preview, or I can press Control R. So this gives me a preview of the application that my user will see. So you see you have these buttons that are clickable, some text here, which is the label, and the line edit, which you can type some random stuff inside. 
So this is how you create an application with Qt Designer. Obviously, this is a very, very, very basic example, very not nice looking UI. I'm just doing this to show you an example of how Qt Designer works. So now that you have installed both PySide 6 and Qt Designer, you can get started with building your applications using PySide 6 and this tool as well. One last thing I want to note is so we used all this process to actually get the designer. So we went to the site packages, the Qt applications. This can be kind of annoying and tiring sometimes. So what you're going to want to do is maybe create a shortcut for this on your desktop or here you want to come and pin it to your taskbar. This way you will always have access to it and it will be much easier to launch. So now if I close it, so let's not save this. I can just find it here and I can press on it later on and open it and it's much faster than having to go to the dedicated file. Of course, you can also create a desktop shortcut. All right, that's really it for this video. So it was a simple introduction to PySide 6 and Qt Designer. I hope you managed to successfully install them and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.